now this video is long overdue i am super sorry that it's just coming now so this was like a q a that i put up on my community tab when i hit 1000 subscribers and more and i asked you guys to drop your questions about perfume health perfume or business and what's not and in today's video i'm just going to be answering all of that now if that sounds like something you're interested in let's go hi guys jay here welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're stopping on my channel for the first time you are most than definitely welcome also if you're returning back to my channel thank you so much for skipping this baby girl you guys definitely know that i do not take it for granted so um the first question says congratulations on 1k yeah i had to write them down because again i'm filming with my phone okay so congratulations on 1k tips for i just shortened the questions basically just so that i can answer them so this person is asking for tips on finding a good perfume or vendor red flags to look out for and questions to ask so basically um tips to looking for a good perfume or vendor i will have that or i would advise that you check their online presence you check their reviews you see if people are buying from them take for instance some of you are subscribed to my channel you watch my videos you see me on instagram as well and all of that but yet you still doubt if i'm legit like i don't know what sort of what level of authenticity you are still looking for okay i cannot even like sometimes you guys leave me livid like i'm wondering okay how else am i still supposed to prove that i'm legit like what i'm selling is actually original like i don't get it but basically if you are looking for a good perfume or vendor you want to check their online presence as well you also want to you know check if people have been buying from them you want to check their reviews and what's not then you also want to buy their their products like in a small quantity if you don't trust them enough to buy like immediately okay so you can buy their products in small quantity um use it and then if you want and you're satisfied with what you got then you go back and buy in large quantity okay but then if you're buying from me <laughs> what i tell you is what you're going to get quality and nothing more okay so that's that okay red flags to look out for i think i kind of like just answered all of them red flags to look out for would be if they, are, they don't have like a strong online presence now this this is not really like a red flag because a small business can have good products and they don't really have like a strong online presence because again they are just starting out and they're just trying to find their foot and what's not so again i would say that just buy in small quantity at first and then you see from there how it goes okay now when it comes to questions to ask of course you want to ask if it is long lasting but then some of you you've watched my videos i've told you i only sell long last and i only sell um fake, first grade perfume health but then you still come to my videos you still hacks me yes that's totally okay it's just that <laughs> sometimes it gets to me really i'm being honest here okay because i mean especially if you're coming from my youtube channel and then you're still coming to ask me is long lasting perfume i want is first grade i want like yes go that's all i sell if you if you want something else you're going to have to go to another place because i don't have what you're looking for but if you want first grade perfume then yeah i'm your i'm your person okay so you want to have for the type of perfume health type of perfume i mean if it's first grade second grade or third grade because again me i will tell you i don't know if those that sell lesser are going to tell you but me i will tell you that i sell first grade okay then you also want to ask for longevity and what's not basically those are the questions to ask okay so the next question says if i want to okay i want to know if i'm in ghana how can i source for perfume or suppliers or even be one of the wholesalers again i would say that you can place your order through lawyer sense and it will be delivered to your doorstep but if you would like somebody in ghana i don't know you're going to have to take the risk or and the stress of looking for who and who has first grade quality perfumes of course if that's what you're looking for but again if you wish to buy from my business then send a message to allow yes and somebody's going to reply you okay and your um, order is going to be delivered to ghana no stress there is no way like we don't deliver so there is no way i cannot deliver your products to okay so ghana zimbabwe south africa uk just go on and name it there is no way Cannot deliver perfume also okay if i can deliver to kiribati <laughs> with you that you are just like close why can't i deliver to you okay so send me a dm on instagram okay next question says 
six sis your content is inspiring i just want to know the labels thank you cards and packaging items how do you do it okay for that for my labels packaging items and whatnot i um have a printer person that does my stickers those are like the labels that i put on the bottles and whatnot and i also have a place that i buy my packaging items from so again i sell packaging items on lao yes and lao yes has packaging items for sale so if you want to get packaging items you can send a message to lao yes you get to get different types of packaging items from fancy nylons to organza pouches plain um small size and big size okay so that's about packaging nylons and for the stickers and thank you cards all you have to do is get a printer tell them basically how you want your thank you card or your sticker to look like just describe it to them then you choose like the texture of the sticker that you want the type of sticker that you want basically and you're good to go next question says how many bottles of three meals do you get from 100 meals and 250 meals okay so before i answer this question here i'm going to say that you cannot be in the perfume of business and not be friends with mathematics okay at least the simple mathematics yeah so if i want to know how many three meals i'm going to get in an 100 meal canister all I, all I have to do is divide 100 by three and i'm going to get how many three meals i'm going to get in an 100 meal canister same goes for 250 meals I hope you have your answer this question says your videos have been very helpful thank you for the free tips you put out on your channel you're welcome darling <laughs> how did you overcome the fear of not making any sales when you first started <laughs> this part see let me tell you it is a phase that you're going to have to go through not just in the professional business but in every other business okay it's a face you're going to have to go through it's a face that i still go through sometimes yeah big deal i don't get orders every single day yeah i'm telling you and I, I, like at the stage where my professional business is i don't get orders like every single day of the week okay so even when i started yeah i would usually get orders but again not every day in fact in weeks i might not even get order yes i might not get any order okay or is a phase that you have to go through now all i would say is in that space just publicize your brand do sponsored hats um market your business basically okay put your business out there don't keep quiet about your business if you need to do influencing influencer marketing and whatnot just basically anything that helps you put your brand out there or your business out there please just do it again okay and if you want more tips you can go ahead and take my course you would have more tips on that next question is what's the difference between surati and regular perfume house so simple surati is a more concentrated perfume oil okay that's 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 the simple um definition to it so the way we have arabian oil we have designer perfume house we have surati perfume oils okay so if you're going to be buying surati perfume oils of course you know that surati perfume oils are going to be more expensive than the rev than the designer perfume oils even the first grade okay the, the um, surati perfume oils are way expensive so that, that's just like major difference basically nothing extra please i want to go into the perfume oil business full time and i don't have any idea can you guide me again i have a course i think i've you must have seen it one or two times on my channel already since i launched it i have a course that can help you and guide you if you're just starting out your perfume oil business or you already have a perfume oil business and it seems as if you can't really find your foot go ahead check the community tab on my channel you're going to see the link to you know take the course just take the course and do everything that i say in the course and your business is going to you know start moving forward i want to learn how to get perfume oil business directly for the source okay i yeah somebody has asked me this question and a lot of people have asked me this question so i let me just answer this okay at the moment i do not teach perfume oil importation yet yet <sighs> let me just put it like that i do not teach perfume oil importation yet however if i start teaching perfume oil importation of course you guys will definitely know because i'm going to come on here to say it and i'm going to on my instagram so if you are not following me on my instagram page i bet you want to do that please how will i know if it is diluted see basically it's not going to last long now 
if I'm saying it's not going to last long, you need to also consider the nature of the fragrance. Okay, see, really, <laughs> if you take the course, if you take my course, then you're going to understand some of these things. Perfume house have they have like different natures of fragrances, okay? So depending on the nature of the fragrance, if it does not last like at all, then you know that it's diluted, okay? The next question is, what package would you advise me to start with as a beginner? Okay, so as a beginner, I would say that there's really no package for you to start with. Again, it just depends on your capital, how much you have and how much you're willing to start. There is no particular package that is assigned for beginners okay if you're ready to get into the business and you know you're meant to be serious about it and you have the capital sis buy what you need to buy and start okay so i've seen people that just started the professional business for the first time and they went ahead to buy the 25 dollars combo package and the 50 dollars combo package and i've seen some that just started and i've bought canister orders as well so don't limit yourself okay and say eh, this is the package i'm supposed to start with because i'm a beginner again it is your choice your capital and whatnot and yeah let me also chip this in there are people that ask me how much can i can i use to start my perfume oil business again there is no specific amount that you can use to start your perfume oil business okay it all depends on you with plow scents of course you can start your business your perfume oil business with as low as six thousand seven fifty yeah so if you have six thousand seven fifty you can kick start your perfume oil business Again, if you have 200,000, of course, you can kickstart your perfume oil business. So there is really no specific amount, okay? And that's the good thing about perfume oil business because it allows you to scale on different levels. If you have taken my course, you will definitely know that I talked about this. Okay. Next question is, how many wholesale packages do you have? Okay, so there are different different wholesale packages that I have from field perfume house to... Um, from few perfume oils, I have start up. I have like about five packages there. I have um, the three meals package that's like 15 pieces, 30, 50, and 100 pieces. Okay, so basically, you could just click the link to my Instagram page in the description box, and you are going to have access to all of the packages that are available at Lao Yu Sense. Okay, just so that you have a guide on what package you want to start with if you are starting your perfume oil business and if you're already in the big business you just have an idea of what you want to order next question is um please teach me on perfume oil production <laughs> okay you guys I've, I've said this in like some of my videos i don't do perfume oil production i do not produce the perfume oils that i even sell okay i buy this perfume oils from dubai so again, please stop coming to my DM to ask me to teach you perfume oil production. I do not teach perfume oil production, okay? I sell perfume oils in wholesale. Now, if you want to buy, to sell, please come into my DM. But if you want me to teach you how to make, I'm sorry, I don't know how to, I don't know how to even do it. So I cannot teach you, okay? So I'm the wrong person to come to. Again, no, I do not teach perfume oil production. Can you deliver to my location? <laughs> Bro, I can deliver anywhere. <laughs> like, I've said this in this video already. I can deliver anywhere. See, if I can deliver to someone in Kiribati, that means I can deliver to the US, UK, South Africa, Zambia, uh, Lagos, Ibadan, Oyo State, Abuja, Aqua Ibom. You know, just keep going. There is no way I cannot deliver perfume oils to you. So all you have to do is send me a message on Instagram or send me a message on the number on that I'm going to put on the screen right now. That's my business number and you're going to get a response, okay? Yeah, it was actually fun answering all of these questions. Please let me know what content you would like to see on this channel in the comment section. It will really help me know what you guys like and what I should actually put out, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye guys!